Hello traders, my name is Grega Horat and welcome to the intraday video analysis. Uh, I will take a look on the price action on uh, this German DAX and also on the Euro dollar. Okay, um, firstly uh, I will take a look on this DAX um, on DAX and actually I will switch it to one hour chart. Okay. Um, if you are familiar with Elliott wave theory, then you will know that five waves shows direction of a current trend or temporary change in trend, while three wave patterns are contra trend movements. Okay, so they are actually it's actually posed within the larger trend, ongoing trend. So um, and here from this extreme, you can see that on DAX we have five waves to the downside this is a clear five wave pattern this was a leading diagonal if wave in wave one wave two pull back sharp extended wave three this is a very typical price action for third wave where you will see an increase in volume and momentum so this is wave three then wave four another post within this ongoing downtrend and then a fifth wave decline which completes first five wave movement now here is the interesting thing that even if this whole pullback from these highs will extend even deeper and even if this will be just corrective movement we still need to go lower why because corrections are free wave patterns okay uh, so corrections must be structured minimum by three legs this was only first leg to the downside okay and this pullback is still only second leg to the upside so we should see a fall beneath this wave a swing low okay so we are looking minimum for a free waves to the downside now here's the interesting thing this recovery was in free waves okay and as i said free waves are corrective patterns so um, this free wave just uh, this free wave bounce just confirmed my wave count that we are going lower because this free wave bounce is a pause within this current bearish trend which is clearly evident on DAX here okay so I think that this DAX will extend even deeper in uh, coming coming days probably next week okay interesting thing is that this DAX if we go to this uh, let, let's go to 30 minute chart <coughs> we can see then the DAX has reversed from this swing high also in five waves okay and you can see that price extended already beneath this support uh, support line connected from the lows I believe this was a support line of a corrective channel okay so this rally appears to be finished because of this five wave fall because as I said five waves shows direction of a trend so if my predictions are correct then DAX should stay below these highs okay uh, while we should continue lower because of these five waves so if that's correct then um, traders should keep an eye on this free wave bounce in the near term let's say in the next 24 hours okay uh, that which means that this wave 2 could unfold um, today and maybe on Monday and then weakness should resume while the market is trading below this critical level okay um, well now if you are a forex trader uh, how would you uh, what is actually advantage of this how you can take advantage of this tax well let's take a look on the euro dollar uh, but just before we go to the euro dollar let's say let's see that here on february 13 which was two days back uh, DAX reached a high and reached a new low today okay so let's see the euro dollar now well on the euro dollar we can also see that market made five waves down from this February 13 high okay so this tells me that trend as I said is bearish why because we have five waves down well as you can see DAX and euro dollar are 
correlated and we expect a f minor free wave bounce on DAX before larger downtrend will resume. So if I go back to the DAX, um, I expect here free wave bounce in wave 2 before a larger downtrend should resume because as I said earlier we should see a fall beneath this wave a swing low because larger trend, larger decline should be minimum in free waves. Okay, so we should go lower. Bottom line, we have three waves to the upside. We have here then a five wave fall. So we should go lower after a three wave bounce while the market is trading below this critical level. So I am interested for um, more weakness on DAX while this level is in place. So as I said, if you're a Forex trader, you would then expect lower levels on Euro dollar because this market turned lower at the same time and today also reached a low at the same times. Okay, so this is a free wave. Uh, this was a five wave fall and we expect a free wave bounce which corresponds to DAX. So if DAX will reverse higher in free waves and once uh, DAX um, will complete the pullback we should go lower and da on DAX which will also send lower this euro dollar. So bottom line we said that we are bearish on DAX while the market is trading below February 13 high so we are bearish on euro dollar as well as long this market is trading below February 13 high which comes in at, at 135.20 okay so this free wave rally I think should be could be a very nice opportunity for traders who want to be short euros or long US dollar against the euro okay uh, so keep an eye on these decks keep an eye on euro but if I'm correct then uh, this wave B pullback on this euro dollar or wave 2 on DAX uh, will probably unfold uh, not earlier than on Monday okay so keep an eye on this pullback and uh, on euro dollar because this could be a nice short opportunity in uh, early next week. Okay traders, this is it. Have a good day. Bye.